Hey everyone, I'm Tara. Welcome back to my channel, Beaver Vineyards. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're, one, we're indoors, which is a little weird and awkward for me because normally I'm running around with the camera doing things a little bit more natural. But we are going to talk about how to get rescue hens and a little bit about how I got the rescue hens. I'll just be honest, I've got my laptop right here with all my notes um, because otherwise I will probably forget to tell you guys something. I wanted to tell you guys about how I even found out rescuing egg factory hens was a thing. I am mainly on Instagram and I started following two different accounts that it just kind of happened. One is The Good Life Ain't Easy, and the second account is Little Cage Fighters, and they both happen to have X battery cage hens. Um, and I kind of was just following them and noticing what was going on with their chickens, and I thought that was interesting. I didn't even know that was a real thing. And then I realized that both those women live in the UK. And come to find out, rescuing hens in the UK is a lot more popular. So I started trying to find places here in the United States where you could possibly rescue hens from egg factories. So I literally just got on Google, started searching to see what I could find, and there happened to be a rescue in Santa Cruz, California, which is about two to three hours from me. So it wasn't really easy for me to just drive there and get them, but it was still pretty close. So I got on their website and it's kind of like adopting a dog. They had an application to fill out and after I filled out the application, they called me and they pretty much wanted to know that when these chickens could no longer lay eggs, I was going to keep them. I was going to keep them for their entire life and not get rid of them. For some people, that is not their goal. But for me, especially with these rescues, they're going to live out their life with me. I'm not going to get rid of them when they're no longer providing eggs. They're barely providing eggs now. <laughs> um, and I've had them for a few months. Once I figured out that I was going to get some, I was waiting. Hen Harbor, which is the rescue in Santa Cruz, has a ton of volunteers that help them. And they got a volunteer that was going to be transporting to multiple places and kind of going in my direction. So I met with someone in Stockton and he gave me the hens. I knew they were going to look bad, but you just don't really realize it until you actually see them. I mean, I think a lot of us can admit what you see in pictures is definitely different than what you see in real life. And it was crazy when I got them. And unfortunately, I wasn't really on YouTube when I got the hens, so I don't have a ton of video. I just have a lot of pictures, but they just had no feathers. They were really skinny, very talkative though, and they're still really talkative. Um, it was it was definitely crazy to see them for the first time. So I recently reached out to the owner of Hen Harbor to talk to her about her process of how she gets the hens because some people have not been able to find rescues nearby or they don't really know what to look for. Like I said, I just got on Google and started searching for X battery hens or rescuing egg factory hens and this is what came up close to me. I am assuming it started with the owner of Hen Harbor rescuing roosters. A lot of people don't want to keep roosters when they get them from chicks. I've also seen videos on her Instagram where she goes to a park or a parking lot, I think in the San Jose area where people are dumping roosters. So I think that's kind of how she started. I am just assuming that. So when she had all these roosters, she was going to a feed store a lot and got connected with a farmer and was telling him, I have all these roosters, I need companions for them, I'd like to get a lot of hens. 
and she really built a relationship with him and she told me he is a small egg producer and he has 10,000 chickens. So that kind of just gives you an idea of what small is. So she got on good terms with him. He trusted her and she did not go in there with bad intentions. So she would go when he was ready to cull. She would go and just take as many as she could. And every time she wanted to get more hens, she just kept going back, going back. And now when he's ready to refresh his flock, he calls her. And she just tries to take as many chickens as she can. People adopting chickens from her obviously allows her to get more chickens. So this video is not for people who are trying to take down farmers that do this. This farmer follows the law. These chickens come out looking like this, but no laws have been broken. And even though some of us might feel like this is not humane or not right, trying to take down a farmer who's just trying to live his life is not the way to do that. This lady is not trying to sabotage this farmer's life. She's just trying to do what she can and that is by taking as many chickens as she can. I think we need to all keep that in mind. So I asked her what are some ways to direct people if they can't find a rescue in their area, if you can find an egg factory farm and you want to try to connect with the farmer one-on-one, -on -one, that is definitely an option. She said you can go to poultry auctions where they sell spent hens for soup. So you can go to an auction, try to pick up some birds. She said there are poultry markets where they sell hens alive, also for soup and food. If you wanna go pick up hens there, you can. You could just go, don't go and be a crazy person because that's not gonna help anybody. So if you live in California, Hen Harbor, they work with volunteers. I also believe there's one in Florida called Chickens Matter. Just Google, see what you can find. I will tell you, I knew it was gonna be hard, but I had no idea how hard it was gonna be. They were in terrible condition. Pretty much all of them had infections in their oviduct and all of them were on antibiotics. I was giving them antibiotics. It just, the first couple of weeks were a whirlwind and very stressful. I mean, every day it was like, are they gonna make it? I was buying, I definitely was unprepared. I thought I was prepared, I was not. You know, I had the basic chicken things, you know, vet RX and stuff like that, but I picked up more electrolytes, I picked up vitamins, the antibiotics. If you're thinking about getting rescue hens, let me know and I'll send you a list of all the things I bought after the fact. I am hoping to get more in the future. I would recommend maybe getting three to four if you've never done it before, because it is a lot. So hopefully that gave you guys some information on how you can get your own rescue hens or where to at least look for them. If you want to help out these hens but you can't get them yourselves, you can go to Hen Harbor. I believe her website is henharbor.com. She has an Amazon wish list. She has a donate button. You can help her. She's, she's on it. Um, and if you want to help me, I have my shop, the Beaver Vineyard shop, where you can get Rescue Revolution, Revolution shirts. I also have an Amazon wish list, um, and all the proceeds from the Rescue Revolution shirt are going to hopefully go towards my next rescue. If you want to keep up to date with the rescues, you can subscribe to my channel. There will be a lot more videos about them, and... Now, when I start my next rescue, I'll be able to start from the beginning with video, and you can definitely follow me on Instagram. I post about them quite often. So I hope this video helped you guys, and have a good one. Good morning, my sweet girls. Hi, baby. My sweet Lucky.
Come on, girl. Come on, Lucky. My sweet girl. Woohoo! Good job. Come on, Comet. Come on, Comet. Come on, baby. There's my sweet girl. Come on, Comet. Oh, good job. Good job, girls. Who's up next? Who's gonna go next, ladies? Come on, Rose. <laughs> Good girl, Rose. Come on, Fern. There's a good girl. Oh, oh, she's gonna jump for it. Oh, good morning, beautiful girls.